Equipment Editor Jim Park here, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. The W900L is Kenworth's superstar product. It's going to be around for a long time to come, and it's been around since the early 60s because everybody loves the thing. Rather than replace it, Kenworth's going to add a new truck to its classic long hood lineup. This, the W990. This one is introduced in September in Las Vegas. It's obviously bigger and bolder than uh, most trucks we see today, and it's gonna carry on from where the W900L left off. We've been out driving this thing all day. We put about 300 miles on it, and I gotta tell you, it's every inch the W900L and then some. But what I wanna do with you right now is take you around and show you a couple of the new features on this truck. We can start here with the new headlights. You got a high beam and a low beam in there. These are both halogen headlights, by the way, with some LED accent lights. We were out driving last night after it got dark and they really light up the highway. Nice wide beam so you can see well onto the shoulders. I think folks are gonna be really happy with that headlight. And the styling of it's pretty cool too. I think it suits the, uh, the big in your face front of this truck. Uh, underneath this great big grill here is a 1,670 square inch radiator. That's way big enough for the Cummins ISX engine. Underneath this one is an MX-13, so smaller engine, less cooling requirements, which means you're gonna get a lot less fan time with the MX engine and this great big radiator. Around the side here, we've got an interesting feature on this fender. Uh, you'll see there's a gap between the, uh, the hood cowl and the fender itself. This comes off. It's a bolt-on piece, so if there's any damage to this part of the truck, uh, it's much easier to replace than having to uh, you know, remake that fiberglass mold like they had on the W900L hood. So the Kenworth people have obviously taken that into account and designed in some maintenance savings there as well. Down here under this great big hood, we've got the MX-13 engine. In this case, it's a 510 horsepower, 1,850 pound feet. It's got an air uh, over hydraulic assist clutch in it, a 15 and a half inch Eaton clutch. Bendix air disc brakes at all wheel positions. Uh, really nice feel to the brakes on this truck. You're going to love those. Right here we've got the, uh, the battery box with these great big steps on it. We're all used to the way Kenworth's designed their steps. They're a good solid, lots of traction, and not too high to step up from the lower step to the middle step and into the door. Up here on the hood, you'll see we're missing the uh, old fuel economy sucking air canisters. Kenworth has replaced it with this pretty slick looking air intake. Around here on the front side of it, there's a screen to keep all the bugs and leaves and sticks and stuff out. It's also a much lower profile, obviously, than the uh, canister air cleaners, but every bit as much airflow that goes through there, so the engine's really easy breathing. Same on the other side, you've got two of them, and the air cleaner now is mounted in a separate box underneath the hood, so you've only got one air cleaner element to replace. We start working our way back towards the back of the truck. Uh, we've got our DEF tank here, fuel tank obviously. Back here we've got a toolbox. It's pretty much the same size as the battery box again with these nice big wide steps. And you can see we've got a really big gap between the back of the sleeper and the trailer, but it sure makes for easy access up onto the rear deck when you're hooking up your uh, airlines and what have you. So there's no difficulty getting up or down from the back here. Got a really good grab handle and these nice very grippy steps so the drivers aren't going to have any issues you know taking a tumble off that even when you got a bit of ice and snow on top of that so another thing i wanted to point out was this cab suspension here the airbags and the shocks are set out quite a ways outboard of the frame rails so it gives you a really stiff cab it doesn't sway when you go around a corner and that really adds to the nice solid feel of the truck uh, and back here we've got the uh, dana ds P 40 P 40,000 pound rear ends with 325 ratios. You don't get the really low downsped ratio that you get on some of the more fuel efficient trucks, uh, but you can't put a downsped driveline with a manual transmission. And this truck does have the 18 speed. Uh, for highway travel, it's a great, uh, great setup. We're cruising along at a really fuel efficient RPM at even 60 miles, 65 miles an hour. What you see here, the whole thing weighs just 18,745 pounds. So it's on the heavy side compared to some trucks, 
but it's a large car. What do you expect? You're going to get that with this kind of a truck. Long wheelbase, big sleeper, big hood. There's a lot of hardware here. So 18,750 is not a bad weight for a truck this size. That's dry weight, by the way, no fuel, no oil. But uh, it gives you an idea what it's going to weigh when you fill it up. So that's a quick walk around of a W990, the successor, eventual successor to the W900L. We've got two more videos in this little series we've just done. One's the test drive and one's the interior cabin sleeper walk around. Make sure you check those out. In the meantime, I'm Jim Park coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona with Kenworth's brand new W990.